Hey guys, this is Will from Going Out Some Places. And we're back for another product review and unboxing. Now, one thing that has really changed over the past 10 years in terms of travel is our hunger and need for access to data because of this thing, our smartphones. And there are a whole bunch of different ways to get access to it, whether it's through the coffee shop and the free Wi-Fi, there's our SIM card where we can roam or get a local SIM card to get data. And lastly, there's something called a pocket Wi-Fi device. Now, my personal preference is to use a pocket Wi-Fi device because it's something that I can share access to data with everyone that I'm traveling with. And the other thing is that the prices are actually quite competitive if you've not looked at it before. So today for this video, I am partnering with a company called SmartGo. They produce something called a Pokefy, and the Pokefy is a pocket Wi-Fi device that has a really great reputation online, and I was really curious to see how this thing performed. So for this video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing to show you what comes inside the box and just what it looks like and what you get inside. But first, a little bit about Pokefy. So here are the basics. The Pokefy is 133 grams, which is quite light. It can connect to 4G and LTE networks, so that's a top speed of 150 megabits per second. Up to eight devices can simultaneously connect to the Pokefy, which is great if you're traveling with a large group of friends or family. It comes with a removable battery, which is rated for up to 16 hours of usage. And in terms of charging interface, you can choose between USB-C and micro USB. I've chosen the USB-C for this review. So what about price? And this is the best part about the Pokefy and what really attracted me to the product. So out of the box, this comes with five gigabytes of data preloaded inside, and this is data that never expires, so you never have to worry about it going away. The cost of this package, so the device, an extra battery, and five gigabytes of data cost 194 US dollars. Okay, so that's already a pretty good deal, considering you have five gigabytes of data ready to go. But if you get to the end of the video or go down to the description down below, there's a special Going Awesome Places coupon code where you can get 25 US dollars off. So you can get an even bigger discount. The other thing you need to know about the Pokefy is that there are two ways to consume data with the device. You either can purchase a la carte data in one gigabyte or five gigabyte increments, or you can buy day passes, one day day passes or five day package day passes. And those are really up to you depending on whether you're looking for unlimited usage of data uh, across uh, different days that you're traveling or you just rather purchase a la carte data. So to give you an idea of how much the data packages cost, for five gigabytes of data, it costs 15 US dollars and that's good for two years. Or if you like to do it the other way, you can get five days of day passes and that costs 15 US dollars and that's good for three months. And those day passes you don't have to use in continuous or consecutive days. You can split them up however you want over the, the three months that it's valid for. And another neat feature that they have is that you can pay $30 for five gigs if you want to use it in China because it has a built-in VPN and that's pretty sweet. So that's everything I wanted to tell you about the device. Why don't we go to the unboxing? So what we have here is the box for the Pokefy. Got the extra battery right here, preloaded with 50 gigabytes. And on the back side, really simple. It's got the specifications, a little bit about the device, and it's nice and shrink wrapped, ready to go, to be opened. So here goes, let's open this guy. Got my knife, gonna open it up. get all that plastic off. The bottom side has some details about the phone, SSID and password and whatnot. Right here it says no refund if opened. So be careful about that. But take that and it's open. I think it's ready to free this bad boy. Gonna open it up, Let's see what's inside. Oh, we got foam cover inside to protect it. I'm gonna leave that here. And actually, let's take that away. So, 
here is the Pokefy device. It is a lot smaller than I thought. Look how it fits in my hand. And it's very comfortable. It's almost like the original iPhone. You guys remember those days? Nice and small. Wow, this is really good. And it feels great in terms of it being textured. It almost has that leather feel to it, even though it's plastic. It's got that texture here. The bump bumpers on the corners keep it nice and protected. We got this nice detailing on the side. Oh, this bumper goes all the way to the top and the bottom USB connection. You got the button here. LED indicators, another LED indicator up here. And okay, let's open up the rest of the box, see what's inside. So this is the bottom of the box. You have some instructions, six different steps. We'll go into this later on, English and Chinese. Obviously these guys are from Hong Kong and that is why. Opening this up, as promised, you got the extra battery, pretty sweet. Even though it's good for 16 hours, always handy to have an extra battery with you. USB-C cable in case you don't have one, but you can definitely use an existing one that you already have. And instructions, quick start guide, I think this is. Yep, quick start guide. And it's got English instructions on the front side with things like troubleshooting, what's in the box, first time user, device management and top up. And on the back side, Chinese. All right, gonna put all these things back in the box. Won't need it for right now. This should be pretty easy to set up. All right, so back to the Pokefy device. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do, I think, is to power this up, but I'm pretty sure uh, they've taped it up, so we gotta open this up somehow. So to open this up, what you're gonna be looking for is a corner where you can fit your thumb or fingers in. All right, so we're gonna try to open up the back. Here goes. Oh, it requires a lot more force. Okay, there it is. You hear the clips opening up and you got the back cover. Okay, sweet. So the back cover has information about the device, so that's handy to have because you're not gonna have the box with you. Put that down and you got the battery. And as I thought, the battery is protected by a small sticker tab here just to prevent the connections from draining the battery while it's being shipped. So you got the battery, it's really simple. Just pull off the battery, uh, sorry, the tape, and you're good to go. SY300-1, this is the 3.8 volt lithium polymer battery. You got two of these with you, which is pretty awesome. And the back of the device, has the model number, SSID, password, IMEI, and serial number. On its own, this almost weighs nothing. It does feel very plasticky, I guess, but that's what allows us to be so light, which is important, especially for travel. And I'm gonna pop this battery back in, just like that, and cover back on. make sure all the clips are good. And then to use this thing, I think it's really simple. All you gotta do is press and hold for three seconds. And I'm gonna let go. And the blue ring comes on, it's flashing right now. If I tap it again, it's gonna show the red indicator light. So at this point, it must be connecting to the local network. And so um, this is probably gonna take a while. Um, and for this purpose of this video, I'm not actually gonna show you using of this device uh, because I'm, I'm home locally here in Canada. I'm not on the road. I'm gonna be doing a separate video just talking about how the Pokefy performs in other countries because you'll be using this when you're roaming um, and it's gonna be taking a while to connect. While it's doing that though, what I wanted to show you is how do I connect to this thing through my phone because this can support up to eight devices and with your phone, this is the iPhone 11, Pro, I'm gonna to connect to it, it's the PWF SSID. I'm gonna put in the password. Hit join. I'm connected. Or, there we go, connected there. 
So what I'm going to be doing now is connecting to the page where you can actually manage the device. So all you got to do is go to HTTP colon slash slash, and then it's a dot pokify, and that's it. So I'm going to hit go, and it's going to take you to the Pokify admin portal. It's actually really simple and has all the information that you need. Oh, and it looks like we're connected. It's going to tell you what the local operator is. This is Rogers Wireless. It's 4G connection. It's got 60% battery, uh, information about the software version, uptime, the serial number. You can actually go into the menu to buy other packages. Uh, if you want to change the password for the Pokify, you can do that. Oh, there we go. Change the SSID, change the password. All that's really simple to do. You can restart the device from here or turn it on or off. Do you want to turn off the device? Nope, let's not do that right now. And that's pretty much it. Really easy to use. The other thing I want to show you is that now it's connected. You can see that it is actually flashing green. There we go. So we know it's connected and it's connected to the local operator. The other thing you want to, I want to really show you is really a comparison of size. So look at this, this is the iPhone 11. This is the Pokefy. Quite the difference in size. If we put it on top of each other. In terms of thickness, I'd say it's just a tad thicker than the iPhone 11 with the case on. That gives you a comparison. And lastly, another comparison that you might be interested in is this orange puck. And so I've used this, this is a Skyroam. But what I really appreciate about the Pokefy is that it is actually a lot smaller and lighter, okay? So on top of each other, it is definitely thinner, but possibly a little bit taller. In terms of thickness, it's no contest. The Pokefy is much thinner, which is pretty awesome. And it's just, it's easy to hold. It's easy to put in your pocket. This has always been awkward to put in my pocket. Well, that is a wrap for this unboxing video. Thank you guys for, oh, I forgot. I need to tell you about that promo code. So the promo code that you guys have been waiting for is this. It is GAP20116. And that's gonna give you 200 Hong Kong dollars off, or that's roughly 25 US dollars off of the all-inclusive package. And this is a package that includes the Pokefy device right here. You get the extra battery, you get five gigabytes of data preloaded. And what the guys at SmartGo have told me is that this is only valid for the micro USB version. So the link that you see down below or somewhere up here is going to be for the micro USB version and not the USB-C version that you've seen today. Um, but I think the next steps beyond this are gonna be, I'm really curious about how this actually performs on the road, going to different countries over the next couple of months and seeing how it performs in terms of speed, connectivity, um, just the nuances of the admin portal and, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna get to that in an upcoming video. So make sure you like and subscribe so you know when that next video comes out. Um, but anyways, I appreciate all your love and support. Leave any questions or comments down below so I can make sure to get to it in that upcoming video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Going Awesome Places. <laughs> what does a T-Rex sound like? <laughs> Sounds like a dog. <laughs> roar, roar. I'm roaring. <laughs> now I just sound like a Wookiee. <laughs>